Hello again, Sean over here at Reverb.com. Today I'm going to show you another little handy dandy recording and mixing trick. We're going to be using the side chain of a compressor to take information from another track and use that to trigger the compressor. This technique is often used in more electronic dance music where they try and get that pumping effect. I don't make a lot of records like that, but in the case of this particular song, I do want that particular effect on my bass. I'm going to show you how to set it up and how you might use it one way or the other. Sidechain can be defined as something of a controller for the compressor. So it's a path separate from the audio path that essentially is going to take information from the audio path, or in this case, from an external source, and tell the compressor how to react. The way we're going to set it up in Pro Tools is as follows. So I want my, my drums, ultimately, are going to be triggering the compression on my bass. So what I've got is I've got a little bus set up, just a unity gain bus. And now I'm going to set up my compressor on my bass. So we'll just open up the stock Dyn 3 compressor limiter in Pro Tools. You'll see this does have a key input. And I can now select that bus that I just set up, bus 1, my little mono bus. So now, once I click this on the side chain section here, you'll see there's also some filters. We're not going to dig into that right yet. But you'll see there's this little key button here. This is going to enable that key input to affect um, the compressor that we're using on the bass. So I'll start with you bypassed and I'll show you what it sounds like just dry. Cool. And I'll start with my threshold all the way up, ratio all the way down, and we'll dig into the compressor as we go. So I'll click it in. Pop my ratio up a little bit. Now as I drop my threshold, you're going to hear every time a kick drum or a snare drum hits, the bass is actually going to get out of the way and then swell back up to its original volume. That's how we're going to get that pumping effect. Now of course our attack and release times are going to shape the envelope of how that swells too. Give it a nice slow release to show you what that does. That'll keep the bass out for longer. And then as we quick up the release like this, speed it up. You'll hear the bass returns to its original volume very quickly. We change the knee up. That's pretty cool. Now I'll show you what uh, sidechain filtering can do. In this case, um, I'll put it over the master bus. This is frequently used for stereo bus compression, where in this case where we've got a mix, it's got a lot of low end stuff that's sub 100 hertz. If we were to just strap a bus compressor over the two mix, most of what would be triggering that compressor is that bass information, all that low end. So in this case, I'll pop my compressor over my master fader. And now I'm going to use these handy side chain filters. So I'll set up just a standard bus compressor I like about 20 milliseconds attack. Release is fine, kind of straight up the middle at 80 milliseconds. Now I'm going to engage this low frequency filter. This is a high pass filter. In and now you've got continuous control anywhere from 20 hertz all the way to 20k. That'll set the corner of the high pass filter and say like, hey, if, in other words, if I have my high pass filter set at 80 hertz, anything under 80 hertz or 80 hertz and below is not going to trigger the compressor. What this is going to do is actually give you more low end in your mix because that's going to go through uncompressed. It's going to remain its original volume. Everything else above that is going to be compressed as soon as it crosses the threshold. So I'll show you what it sounds like just flat, compressing the full frequency content of the mix. Uh, and then I'll engage my side chain high pass filter, my low frequency roll off, and show you what it sounds like as we let low frequency information go past the compressor. So we're starting with a flat. See, I'm getting about 6 dB most gain reduction right now, and almost all of that is that bass line. So I'll engage my sidechain high pass filter, and I'm going to start rolling this up. I, I can hear that most of that information is around 100 hertz. We'll start at about 80. You'll see I'm getting significantly less gain reduction now, and I can actually drop my threshold overall. Cool. Next spin around, I'm going to increase the frequency for uh, my sidechain high pass filter. I'll take it up to about 120. Now I'm really, really going to dig in on this compressor. 
bypassed. In. Now without the side chain filter. It's taking all that bass out of it. It's just, the bass is just sucking all the mix down. Engage it, and now we're still compressing pretty heavily, but our bass is going through untouched. In this case, uh, the plug-in, just the stock compressor plug-in that comes with Pro Tools does have these, fre these frequency filters built in, a little sidechain section built in. Uh, there are compressors that don't have such facilities. Pro Tools will still let you do this though with these other, with these other plugins using the key input. You could have essentially a dupe of your mix that's just high-passed, and then it'll effectively give you the same thing as just having these same filters built into the plug-in. So thanks so much for joining us again. Hopefully this has demystified what sidechain is, how you may or may not use it. And if you have any questions, again, hit us in the comments. We'll do our best to keep up with your thousands and thousands of comments and questions. We will see you next time here on Reverb.